everyone thanks for joining me on this month's ways to find happiness video number four today i will be talking about our mind's health i was reading an article called seven exercises that will help you think like a mentally strong person on ink.com and i love the message that article started out with we have about 70,000 thoughts per day that 70,000 chances to build yourself up or tear yourself down the article talks about how we can tear ourselves down by calling ourselves names, by doubting our abilities, second guessing our decisions, and really affecting our physical and psychological health. Sometimes our problems are simply psychological, but we can change that by tricking our minds. The article talks about exercises you can do to basically train your brain to be happy. It's crazy, right? But it's true, as weird as it sounds, you can train yourself to be happy. I would love to talk about some of the exercises this article mentions. Number one, do you think about something for an extended period of time and play and replay things in your mind that already happen and think about things you can't even control? The solution, change the channel, snap out of it, stop your mind from dwelling. It sounds easy, but it requires acknowledging it and effort. Number two, are you overly critical of yourself because most of us are do you magnify your mistakes and imperfections the solution again stop those thoughts when they start happening stop dragging yourself down every day when we get up this week look in the mirror and let's tell ourselves something we love about ourselves or are thankful for studies show that there's a link between self-compassion and improved psychological well-being Number three, society sometimes encourages us to not show our feelings and then we become distant from our feelings and can't even recognize and pinpoint what we feel. The solution, if you can label your emotions and be in touch with your emotions, it is easier to deal with them before they start spilling into other areas of your life. Instead of saying, I have butterflies in my stomach, ask yourself, why do I have butterflies in my stomach? Because I'm stressed. Feeling stressed is the emotion in the scenario. Now that you know you're stressed, you can ask yourself why you're stressed and how you can make that better. Number four, the article talks about balancing emotions with logic. I know that as an engineer, my hubby uses this mental game a lot. In other words, putting logic into your emotions. Solution, when you're getting emotional about something, bring your logic in to try and get perspective for example make a pros and cons list of the situation you're emotional about and then read over it number five we often compare ourselves to others look at all they are doing there are so much better parents than i am and so on we're so caught up in what we don't have that we completely ignore what we do have solution practice gratitude I talked about gratitude in greater detail in our last Ways to Find Happiness video. Gratitude is linked to many physical and psychological health benefits. Train your brain to look for the good in life. Okay, finally, I would like to add that our brains are like a muscle that we can train, but also like we need to exercise our bodies, which is good for our brains too, we also need to keep our brains healthy by challenging them to learning new things. Keeping our minds occupied can keep us from letting negative thoughts enter our minds. Thanks so much for watching and please help us spread happiness by sharing these videos. I look forward to sharing our next Ways to Find Happiness conclusion video with you.